hey guys welcome back to the channel once again this is starboy the cosmic witch and we're going to be doing our reading for the super moon full moon august 1st and also for the lunasa lamas sabit also august 1st we also have the blue moon super moon at the end of this month So that'll be the second full moon in this month, which makes it a blue moon. And it will also be another super moon. Also in August, we have Hecate's sacred dates, August 10th through the 13th. Psychically, I'm feeling a strong connection with the ancestors right now. I was actually told to go to the ancestors and connect with them at this time. So that's something that I'm doing. Other energies that I'm feeling psychically right now, I am feeling a sort of an oppositional energy. I do know that we have Venus retrograde right now through to September. So I feel like that's bringing in a lot of oppositional energy. It feels like things are a little bit stagnant, almost just like this thick sludge energy that we're like mucking through at this time. However, with that said, I do feel that going into this month, going into August, this is going to be a doorway opening up. Through that heavier energy, a doorway is opening with the super full moons, with Hecate sacred dates, mid-month as well. These three events in August are going to bring a lot of light back in. It feels like it will be a very clearing energy, clearing out the murkiness, clearing out the sludge, and opening a path through that. So that's the major psychic energies I'm feeling. That, like I say, and then also this energy of the ancestors and where I was being told and guided to connect with them at this time as well. But with that said, let's go ahead and look at the astrology. This full moon is occurring in Capricorn, as we can see here. So the Capricorn full moon is an energy of sort of reconstructing things. It's an earth energy. It's a foundational energy. It's a career energy. Building something, building things. So there are energies of ambition and hopefulness and willingness to push for growth, push for whatever you're building at this time. There's a drive to this energy. It's kind of a low key energy though. It's not a very fiery ambition and drive. It's more of a slow and steady energy as it being an earth element. Think of how there's those goats that can climb extremely vertical cliffs. That's determination. That's ambition. That's drive. And it's also faith in the self. It's hard work and it's effort and it's strenuous at times, but it brings astounding, amazing results. The Capricorn moon brings recognition. So this could be others recognizing these energies or you just recognizing this energy in yourself, the effort, the work that you've put into whatever it is that you're doing at this time. The Capricorn full moon also highlights an energy of organization. This could be a time to get your ducks in a row, you know, get things in order. And then also, of course, finances and money, our security in our lives. So again, another thing I had noticed, I forgot to mention at the beginning, a lot of people are dealing with financial issues at this time. I've heard that a lot from people lately. This super moon would be a great time to do any type of money spell, financial success spell, anything to manifest your basic needs and security. This full moon opens a doorway for that energy to come through. So it would be a great time for spell work for that. And in general, this full moon also just helps you to get work done. So it would also be a time to call in creativity or energy to help you get work done as well. Some other conjunctions I did notice at the time of the full moon, we have Jupiter in Aries and Uranus is also there. With this energy, I feel like I need to give a little bit of a warning to be careful at this time. Things can get heated very quickly with Jupiter's expansive energy. 
in Aries, the headstrong ram, fiery, passionate energy. Also with Uranus there, which brings a energy of spontaneity and combustion, impulse even. You know, I just feel like there's a little bit of a possibility for things to get heated or confrontations to happen and things like that. So just be careful with this energy as well. And I also noticed that we have this sort of planetary alignment happening as well at this time with the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and Mars. We also have Venus retrograde as well. So this is bringing a lot of social energy. We have the Sun, we have Venus, we have Mercury. Those are all social energies, right? So again, I feel like there's this sort of a doorway opening up with this active energy and connectivity. And again, with the Mars and the Venus and Mercury is in between. So there's this almost an energy of mediation or compromise as well that probably needs to happen and will be highlighted or will manifest with this energy. These are in the sign of Leo. So that's also, once again, a social energy ruled by the sun. It's about expression, connection to others. Also image, once again, recognition is highlighted. So this could be others recognizing your hard work. Maybe you recognize others' hard work. It's a mutual type of energy with this too. Recognizing and honoring and respecting each other's efforts could be highlighted with this. So yeah, that's basically what we have with the astrology. And, uh, oh, oops. <laughs> um, I saw this on Facebook earlier. Trans porn rose 75% in popularity this year on Pornhub. <laughs> Trans lives matter. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we have with the astrology. Okay, well, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the cards. I'll be using the Star Spinner Tarot. And I will pull a Star Seed Oracle card as well. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit. How can you please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all? Thank you and submit it to me. Please give us your divine guidance for this full moon, super moon, and Lunasa, cross quarter savvy. Is there anything that we need to know or do or be aware of at this time for our highest good, great success and joy? Please give us your divine guidance now. Thank you and submit it to me. So we have the King of Coins, my favorite fat little bunny. We have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Chalices. So with the King of Coins, this is that Capricorn energy, ambition, drive, financial mastery, career mastery, political energy, pragmatism, making deals and bargains, compromises with others. We are being called to step into this energy. It's time to get serious. It's time to get savvy. Put on your work uniform, right? For those of you who have been suffering with financial issues, the King of Coins is a good omen. It's a good card. It's a good energy. But it's calling you to step into this energy. Think pragmatically. Think with this ambition, this work ethic even. Put in the work, put in the effort, and know that you're going to be rewarded for it. So it's like I was saying, have ambition, but also have a hope. Have faith in the process that the effort that you're putting in will bear fruit. Like I was saying, you know, this would be a great time to do money spells and spells for creativity and spells to help you do the work. A good idea when you do money spells. If you are in a position or job where you are providing services of some type, when you do a money spell, add into it that you will provide good services to help you provide good services, to help your creativity, to help your 
social skills, your passions come to the surface and help you to do good work. Don't just ask for reward, but ask that you put out good work. So that's a part of balancing this energy. And that is something that I highly recommend when you do any type of spells for your finances or money, that you make sure to include that, you know, you're not just asking for something for nothing. You are asking also that what you do, the efforts that you put towards your financial success is also better. Now, here's these heavy energies that we have to talk about. So we have this little night terror sleep paralysis demon with the nine of swords which is actually a perfect depiction for this card this is those stresses those anxieties those worries those doubts those fears if you're dealing with a situation where you are one of those people that are dealing with financial issues right now or any issues concerning your security really you might be having a lot of worry a lot of fears a lot of doubts a lot of anxiety over the situation. Any time when we're dealing with any form of lack, even if it's in relationships, these darker emotions and thoughts creep in. It can mess with our sleep, our health, if we allow it to. These demons will trample all over us if we allow them. Sometimes we can get into a, a bit of a negative spiral, right? When something bad happens, we get, start to get these fears and anxieties and worries and doubts. But then these nightmares take on a life of their own. They make themselves stronger and they belittle us and trample us. And then that gains its own power, its own traction. It in turn begins to influence us. It starts to make us feel hopeless. It starts to make us feel small. It starts to make us feel like we don't have any power or control over anything. But that's a lie. It's false. All of this is an illusion. It's just a nightmare. You can wake yourself up from it. You can dispel all of these fears and illusions. Don't let them trample you. Don't let them rule you. And don't give them that life force of their own. So you see what I'm saying here is that these dark energies, these dark thoughts and emotions, when they creep in, if you give them the power, they will overtake you and... They'll prevent you from having hope. They'll prevent you from putting in effort. They'll keep you held down because your beliefs are clouded with these darker emotions, these darker thoughts, hopelessness, anxiety, worry. All of that blocks you from taking positive action right now. You see what I'm saying? If you allow it to. So we have to dispel these illusions, these fears and worries and doubts, don't give them the power. Don't entertain them. Because it can become its own power that overtakes you and blocks you from doing what you need to do. The Eight of Chalices is a card of sacrifice. Giving something up, walking away from something. Walking away from something that's negative, that's not serving us, right? At least that's what I feel like it's representing here. For it to come right after the nine of swords it feels like we're being called to just walk away from this energy stop letting it dominate us this is the proper way to deal with dark emotions and dark thoughts dark vibes dark energies we feel them but we don't dwell in them we release them and we move forward because the eight of chalices talks about walking away from something Yes, but it also talks about walking towards something good. And ultimately, we are the people that have to make that choice for ourselves. It's a decision. It's a choice that we make to pursue good and let go of the bad. So with all of these cards together, it's like... I feel like this is, once again, just reiterating what I was talking about at the beginning of this. There's this sort of heavier, darker energy that's been lurking around lately. We're being called to walk away from it and we're being called to embody this king of coins energy at this time so this is the obstacle to embodying the king of coins these illusions this darker vibe this darker energy that's internalized we have to walk away from that energy let it go 
feel it, honor that's how you feel, but then move forward anyways, move forward despite of it, and step into this energy, move forward with enthusiasm and positivity and faith and hope and ambition and trust that the effort that you put in will have a power. Rather than to trust these fears and worries about your future, if we trust that, it leads us to doing nothing because we don't have any faith, we don't have any hope. So we don't even try to act for our greater good. That's the only power that this darker energy has. We have to let that go and step into this King of Coins energy instead. And especially at the time of this full moon, you know, that's what we're being called to do. And with that said, let's go ahead and pull a Starseed Oracle and see what other messages we get. Please give us your divine guidance for this full moon, super moon, and cross border Lunasa Salve. Is there anything else that we need to know or do or be aware of at this time for our highest good, greatest success and joy? Please give us your divine guidance now. Thank you and some of it being. The Messenger. Serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. This card reminds me of the Archangel Metatron, which makes sense with the Capricorn energy. You know, the master architect, the builder, the constructor. You think of Metatron's cube and sacred geometry, the crystalline matrixes, crystallizing, embodying the divine, manifesting. Let's go ahead and look at the book meaning. Serious energy bringing harmony and balance. You are part of the lineage of souls who have dedicated their lifetimes to the upliftment of the planet, to returning time and again to see the light, the crystalline ones, the ones who are here to plant the sacredness of life back in, to honor both the sacred feminine and masculine, to usher deep reverence back in. Many ascended masters are thought to be connected to the energy of Sirius. Often appearing as a shade of blue, they hold the frequency of pure love and are here to help the masculine and feminine exist in harmony, to ensure greater balance, to help us see that we're all connected and that the masculine and feminine energies exist within us all. You're being called to bring about this balance and harmony between the masculine and feminine, to be a guardian of harmony and balance on earth. Think of the whales traveling around the globe, sharing love through their healing vibrational song. Their unique note send balance and harmony to every corner of the planet. A rebalancing of the masculine and feminine is occurring worldwide. It's a resurgence of the sacred within us all, a returning of the sacred union within, a rekindling of heaven and earth. You can begin to bring harmony and balance by creating it in your own life. The ripples will flow from there. You can honor and balance the sacred masculine and feminine energies within yourself and others. Starseed Soul Inquiry. How are you being called to bring harmony to your life or to the planet? How are you being called to honor the sacred masculine and feminine within? So what really stands out to me with this is you can begin to bring harmony and balance by creating it in your own life. The ripples will flow from there. That really stands out to me for this reading in particular seeing as how this was highlighting this sort of internal struggle and letting go of that, stepping into this more positive energy and active energy, proactive, taking positive action. I say this a lot in my readings, but it's true. Don't doubt how much power you have to change things. You are your greatest power. The actions that you take, the vibes that you hold yourself in, the energies that you dwell on and hold within yourself and allow to influence you long term or not. So there's an energy calling us to be disciplined with that internal struggle, right? That internal energy flow. I do feel like a lot of this, once again, has to do with the Venus retrograde that's going on right now. So a lot of this is sort of astrological 
cosmic energy that's sort of influencing us. But at the same time, you know, we're ultimately the ones that have the power over our own minds and our own emotions at any given time. And we can turn off the astrological influences if need be. At least we can turn off how they're affecting us on a personal level and an internal level, right? So I feel like that's what we're being called to do with this. And in so doing that, that's how we're going to bring harmony and balance back into our life. Right? We have allowed things to go out of balance. So we're the ones that can bring it back into balance. And stepping into this King of Coins energy, letting go of this dark energy, this is the way to do it. And also, as the messenger card was saying, bringing the positive energies in. Balancing the masculine and the feminine, the inner and the outer world, bringing them into harmony. Okay, we want things to become better. So we have to shift the energies within ourselves first so that we can control the flow of energy that's influencing us. And in doing that, we clear the way for the positive energy to come in and for the positive energy to influence us instead. Again, I think that would be a great time to do a ritual, maybe do this whole process through a ritual call in the energy to help you not to just get something but to help you work towards something okay maybe do some cleansing make yourself ready for these blessings that are coming in by cleansing out the darkness first okay guys so yeah that's all for this reading hopefully it was helpful and you all have a lovely full moon super moon and cross quarter seven. Make sure to leave me a like and a comment if this reading helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and thank you to everyone who subscribed already. Love you guys so much. If you would like to get in touch with me for a private reading or spell work services, you can contact me through the methods below down in the description box. If you would like to join my Patreon and have access to all of my occult magic videos that I don't share publicly on YouTube, the link for that is down below as well. I would like to thank my current supporters and group members. If you guys want to go check out my channel merch, I did post some new designs as well. The link for that is in the description box too. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video, guys. As always, until next time, hell hecate, hell to the witches, and blessed be.